It turns out that the French Dassault and the German Airbus share the view that the F-35 and Eurofighter Typhoon probably couldn't repel a joint Russian-slash-Chinese invasion on their own. Work is about to begin thanks to a recently signed 3.2 billion euros deal. The truth is that far more than two aerospace companies are involved in this cooperative effort to develop the next great European fighter plane. Western European engineering and manufacturing organizations are uniting behind this common goal. The potential new fighter, formerly known as the Global Combat Air System and now known as the Future Combat Air System FCAS, is advertised as having many of the same capabilities as current American stealth fighters. All of this, hopefully, with minimal running expenses. The FCAS will take advantage of some of the most advanced native European jet engine technology with a choice of turbojet engines from Seyfren in France or MTU Aero in German Luftwaffe variants. Engines that ought to at the very least be competitive with the comparable American jet fighter engines produced by firms like Pratt & Whitney and General Electric. In reality, General Electric CF6 and GE90 turbofan replicas make up around a fifth of Safran's current commercial production. The present concept calls for integrating Airbus unmanned aerial vehicle connectivity into a Spanish company called Indra Sistema's Next Generation Sensor and Avionics Package. Without a doubt, the FCAS platform will compress the operations of multiple last-generation aircraft into the subsystems of just one plane. Future European NATO pilots can conduct all of this from the comfort of one fighter jet's cockpit, coordinating UAV maneuvers and relaying tracking data to adjacent friendly forces. Not that AWACS will no longer be necessary. However, it will undoubtedly make those pilots' duties much more straightforward. The FCAS project is scheduled to begin Phase 1B of development by the end of 2022, a time when the specifics of the avionics, powertrain, and other critical subsystems of the aircraft are fleshed out seriously to prepare the blueprints for prototype production as soon as possible. There is no information on whether this NATO-aligned jet fighter will use any American equipment in addition to the entire European equipment. The FCAS project will be developed with some European and American cooperation, which makes sense. The primary driver for this collaboration would be the innovative jet's possible role in supporting American F-22, F-15E, and F-35 squadrons in the future. There is no information available about when we might see the outcomes of this international effort. The sixth generation of military jets was officially launched by the American B-21 Raider, so it can't be that far off. <laughs>